Meet the innovators, Yannick Page and Gary Metalin. Yannick Page launched her first business at age 17 and knows how to start a business on a shoestring budget. She's a certified trainer in entrepreneurship and workforce innovation and is also the founder of the award-winning company, Future Services International. Gary Matalin is the co-founder and director of Newstone Limited and the co-founder and CEO for Kingston Live Entertainment Group that is responsible for Fiction Lounge, Usain Bolt's Tracks and Records, and Famous Nightclub. This season, 10 new assignments will compete to completely transform their businesses. With the help of the innovators, the business with the most positive changes will win $250,000. Yup, that's a quarter of a million dollars, courtesy of JN Small Business Loans. This week, they have a huge task of helping business owner Nicole Superville Hall to make more money. Let's meet Nicole. I'm Nicole Superville Hall. I am the owner and chef at Super Spicy Doubles. I was a lawyer. I am a lawyer. I am a trained attorney, have been one for 15 years. And in October of last year, I closed my office. It was time. I was not happy being a lawyer. No lawyer gets up one day and is unhappy. Most lawyers are unhappy being lawyers. Believe me, if you have conversation with them and they're real with you, they'll tell you that they don't like it. It's not an easy road. How many city gamma and the kita so them think I bet a rose me say who feels it knows? I was on my own for seven years as an attorney. Um, before that I'd worked for the government and I was in really a really good position, but my mother died. Last conversation we had, she said, if you're not happy, don't do it. I wasn't happy. So I stopped and it should be crying. <laughs> On November 11th, I started cooking. I just started cooking and I had a friend who um, is Trini and I started giving her food and then she started sell, help, helping me sell it to people at her office. And it has just blossomed since then. And I'm now a chef doing super spicy doubles. I just ordered a super spicy doubles. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's just like home. And I like to have it with tamarind sauce, the mango chutney and the cucumber relish. Oh my goodness, mm, I just can't wait to eat this. At Super Spicy Doubles, what we offer is Trini cuisine outside of Trinidad. I use Trini spices in my food, so I try to get all the curries that I use come from Trinidad. And if they're not from Trinidad, I blend them so they taste like Trini curry. You can get doubles, obviously, because we're Super Spicy Doubles. Doubles is a chickpea-filled sandwich, and I put my signature sauces on them. We call them chutneys. I do a tamarind chutney, a mango chutney, and a shadow benny chutney. It's going good, and my food is really good. And if you check out my Facebook page, you will see the comments. People are just totally wild when they have my food. So these are the barras, they're called. And it's called a doubles because they use two of these. And this is a chickpea filling, chana, we call it. And I'm going to put some of my tamarind sauce on top of it. And some of my mango chutney. And most people are afraid of pepper. So we do what we call a slight. I'd like a lot, but for the average person, I put a little top so they can just get a flavor of the shadow bunny. And then this is how it's wrapped. And wrapping doubles is like a technique that you learn. Everybody can do it. And that's a doubles. I also would love if the innovators could help me to get my sauces into supermarkets all over Jamaica. I'm a person who's doing my accounts. They're probably not being done as well as they should be, so maybe I could get some help with that. I'm about to go into boardroom now, and I must confess that I am terrified. I'm excited though, because I'm sure that they're gonna have some things that they can tell me that will help to improve my business. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, I'm nervous. Nicole, welcome. Hi Gary, thank you. Great, so listen, we're very excited about this assignment. We're dying to try some of this food. But before we do that, just tell us real quick, is it a business at this point in time? You have a registered company and everything that you're operating with? I do not have a registered, I do not have a no, registered company. Just cooking out here, kitchen Just cooking kitchen at my home and I have, a, I have a name, which I am going to have registered shortly. As a lawyer, I'm just in total shock that she didn't find it necessary to register the business. It's basic. Once you are 
operating under a name, well, one, it's the law that in order for you to advertise, you have to be registered with the company's office. But two, more importantly, people can take your intellectual property just like that. They can go ahead and register your name, register your trademark if you haven't done so already. So because you are now building this following and because people are getting so excited about your food, that's like really urgent that we need for you to, to deal with. Absolutely. I also think that to arrive at any scale whatsoever, you're going to need to have some very well-defined processes. This is a unique business opportunity because she's found a niche within the food landscape that can really take off. I think it has great flavors and it, and it will work within our, our community. Your target is mainly Trinidadians or just people who like Trinidadian food? My target is everybody who eats. Everybody in Jamaica who eats, who's had a patty, should have no. a doubles. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. You have to be as specific as possible about who your target market is in order for you to, one, meet their needs um, properly, two, understand that market as best as you can, and then three, market to them, you know, to communicate with them, to reach them and to make sure because, you know, part of the problem with, with when you define everybody as your target or you want everybody to try, not everybody's going to love this kind of food. Not everybody's going to want it all the time. You don't want to be trying to reach people who are only going to buy once and they never buy again. Your aim is to reach people who are likely to buy over and over. That's where you want to spend your marketing dollar. That's how you want to reach them. That's how you want to communicate with them and that's who you want to serve. So that's right off the bat to want to change that. I believe that my business is pretty sustainable. I don't think there'll ever be a time when I won't have customers. My issue would be, am I able to satisfy all of them? Will Nicole survive the heat or will she leave the kitchen? Join us after the break to find out and let us know what you think on Twitter at The Innovators JA and on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash The Innovators TV. So a lot of businesses start with having a great idea, and that's great. But what's important is for you to understand the market that you're going into. It's really important for you to invest not only the time, but the resources needed to do proper market research. And this can be done in the form of focus groups or questionnaires, but it's important for you to identify what the demand is for this great idea that you have. Do you have the customers that can support your business consistently? Are they willing to pay the price that you want to set for your products and services? So you have to understand the environment that you're going into, who your customers are, how they behave, what is it that they expect, what, what their needs are, and this can only be done through effective and efficient market research. Honestly, I think her food is like amazing. I could eat it like almost every day. I do plan to someday take over the business. So, Nicole, what have you brought for us to taste? That's doubles that's wrapped in wax paper, and the other thing is something called pilori, which is a vegetable ball with some split peas in it. Okay, this girl's food is exceptional. The food is good. Food was amazing. Okay, so Gary's having we'll, a bit too we'll much be back food. in a few. <laughs> So these sauces? These are my sauces that I sell with my doubles and my pilori. So when you buy pilori, you get the sauce. When you buy doubles, you get the sauce. But every... Do people order these separately? Yes, right? they do. They love the sauce. Uh, this one, the green one, the Shadow Benny sauce, there's this guy and his whole company. He calls and asks for the sauce from heaven. Okay, so Nicole, let me get this straight. If I want to order from you, I how do I reach you? You call my cell phone. Right. And I have two phones. And you order. Who is going to answer? You're going to answer. I'm going to answer or gonna my assistant my is going to answer. And how quickly can I get my food? What we have is a delivery business. I don't have dine-in, I don't have takeout. You call me to place an order and I tell people call me two hours before you need food. Of course, nobody really listens so people call me when they're hungry. We wanted to, to really see how, how your order process works, to test that and to see how quickly we could get, you know, would that be okay with you? Sure. Okay, so we, we did it already. Hi, is this Supers? This is Supers Party Doubles, ma'am. How are you doing? Hi, I'm all right. Um, I need a, a doubles. That phone call was really interesting. And 
clearly it was it was unforgettable so I remember because it sounded crazy she was like I want food and I want it in 20 minutes how quickly do you deliver I need it in like 20 minutes okay that's not possible where do you say you are okay so how long is it going to take for, for cross right now it's an hour I don't understand why it has to take so long but still oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. Yeah, but it is, it is, and then to get it to you. So, I'm sorry. No, no, thanks. I'm sorry. Did she say, but see ya to a potential client? That is a no no. Hello? Hi, did you just hang up on me? No, but you hung up on me. I was like, what? Because you said, don't worry. So I'm like, okay. I never have a private number that I can't call you back. Hi. Okay, well, have a nice day. Okay, so I hope you'll call back. And when you call, call at least an hour before you need it, please. And we will send it to you within the hour. Okay? Okay. Come Nicole. Yes. You did a very good job. You want to capture the customer's information as soon as, as, as you get them on the phone. So one of the things that I do and that I think will work for you is that as soon as somebody calls, you want to know who this person is, what's your name and number in case we get disconnected. And that's a really great way to capture customer information because it is so expensive to advertise. Once you get a customer, you want to make sure you get that information. Yeah, I think that um, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to take some time and look at the business from two points of view. One, the market that you're trying to grasp and how you're gonna speak to that market and how you're gonna obtain that market. Uh, also, from the restaurant side and the operational side, how we're gonna make you a little bit more efficient and get you in a position that you can replicate what you're doing now in other locations. I know food is your thing, but my two cents, um, her food is excellent. And what we need to do is to get her to the point where she is standardizing her processes. She has, you know, all the food safety issues handled and she is working outside the business as in working on it rather than in there doing all the work. I think what's great, I agree with you. I think what's great is that she loves it. She loves what she's doing. Yeah. She is very good at it and it's niche. It's something that I think can break out and do quite well. My concerns where she, where she is concerned, and, and it, it, what's amazing to me is that she's a lawyer, and she just ha she doesn't have the thing properly set up, and, and that just blows me away. But you know what? I think that this thing, it, it just seems to me that she was just in a career that she really didn't like, and that she just started this thing, and she didn't expect it to take off the way it has. And that this has evolved way past what she expected. And I think that we really need to focus her. And I think that's the value of her being here. I think we're ready to bring her back in. Totally agree. You have a very good product, right? The issue now is how do we move you from what you're doing now, which is just cooking at home, into really building a business out of this. So step one is the business registration. We are big on, you know, getting those formalities taken care of, registering the business name. If you can, you know, doing a logo for branding purposes. If you have a, you know, if you have that, then get that trademark registered and sorting out all of the issues related to food processing at home. Your company name is something, it's your first point of contact with probably 90% of your, your customers. I mean, you have a great personality, but you're not gonna be able to go out there and individually capture each person. You know, you're gonna capture these people by branding, by marketing, by communicating this company and the company's immediate impression, that first impression is be careful. That's, uh, you know what I mean? It just, and, 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 and also, you know, you you have in the name Super Spicy Doubles and you do a lot more than doubles. So it may be a bit radical for you, but the truth is we think that you could do with a name change. Too many people let emotion drive their business decision. Not a good plan. Name change is a very interesting thing in business, as you know. I have more than a thousand people who like my Facebook page. Outside of them, I have literally thousands of people who now recognize super spicy doubles. The name is going to limit her and she's not listening. You're turning off a big chunk of the market by going with spicy. It, it, yeah. It's not turning me off because I love spicy food. 
love spicy food. But even your sauce from heaven, your Nico's like, boy, this thing is it's hot. I don't hot. find it hot at all. I would love it to be even hotter. Yeah. So it's gonna be different to different people. I'm a little perturbed that Gary said that I should look into changing the name of my business though, because I'm sort of wedded to the name. I, I know it hasn't been that long, but super spicy double sauce is cool to me, but I'm gonna look at it. Listen to what people want and don't get hung up so much on your ego and your personality and what you want because guess what oh, yeah, you aren't buying your own food oh, yeah, they emotion. are gonna buy from you we've given you a lot to think about and we've given you a lot to do so we are gonna send you off on these assignments and we expect to see you back here in a few weeks and we are looking for great progress when you come back so good luck on your assignments thank you so much good i'm luck, excited Nicole. Nicole took the advice of the innovators, but will it be enough to make her business more profitable? Let us know what you think on Twitter at The Innovators JA and on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash The Innovators TV. My name is Phyllis Seaburn. My business place is Phyllis Grocery Shop. I've been a customer for JN for 24 years. My place get burned out and JN was there for me to the end. He helped me a lot to put back my grocery shop. I encourage everyone, anyone out there to come to JN because it's the best JN small business loan. The innovators assign Nicole a mentor with extensive knowledge of the food industry in Jamaica. Meet Thalia Lynn, managing director and CEO of the Island Grill restaurant chain. Hi Nicole, how are you? I'm great, Thalia. Uh, Welcome to Island Grill. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's look at first your menu. From the name Doubles, I would assume yeah. that's your core item, okay. right? And that's your bigger, biggest seller? Yes. Okay. Have you um, been able to figure out which one might not be selling of the four sides? Oh, no, they or they're, all, they're all, selling. all selling. Okay, they're all so selling. therefore you have to keep I all four. Because you see, we, we, we become emotionally attached as well and we don't want to take anything off. But the simpler your menu is, the better off you are. So what I'd love to show you around the back, just a little bit of how we produce, okay, right? Yeah. And then how we, uh, our service line, because it, we know we sell a lot of yabba at lunchtime, okay. so we're prepared, you know, it's, it's set up like an assembly line, and that's how you're gonna have to set up your production, like an assembly line, because if you know you're gonna get an order for 20 doubles, have your raw ingredients, your, your ingredients just set up so you go bap, bap, bap. When Mrs. Lynn suggested that I should have a production line for the food that we prepare, I wasn't surprised. I That's what we tried to do, but I suppose a more organized line would help to get food out faster, and that's what we want to do. Okay, so let's go around the back and see what, what, what it looks like there. This is part of pre-prep, yes, right? Yes. Where the way out the festival mix, we were using so much festival that we, ha we, we went beyond the weighing out of the flour and the cornmeal. So this is our proprietary formula. It's made for us by Jamaica Flour Mills. Then we, ahead of time, this is part of the prep, it is, it's, it's rolled out and um, stored in the fridge until he's ready to use it. And how many festival you get out of each bag? 52, 52. Exactly. And you see how quickly he does it? On the tour of the kitchen with Mrs. Lynn, I saw a lot of stuff that I have not seen before. They had some big warmers and some refrigerators and equipment that I don't have. It was really nice to see them and of course I aspire to having stuff like that one day. But it was good to see her production line and how it's done and just how they assembled the food, it was really interesting. But it was all in all a really, really good experience. I'd love to come back. I love meeting Mrs. Lynn. She's a wonderful person. It was great for me. So I'm finally here at Future Services International where I am to spend a day in business training. Yannick felt that I could benefit from some more training in business so that it would help my business to grow and improve. So I expect to learn a lot of stuff that I can implement in my business.
Okay, Nick did an exercise with a vision board that I thought was really interesting. I have never done one of those before. She asked us to put pictures of our present and pictures of the things that we must have in our future on a board. And you know, it led you to thinking really about how your life is now and how you want it to be in the future. This is my vision board, my present over here. You can see the lady on the telephone because I'm often on the phone all day taking calls, taking orders. And my future, which is much bigger than my present, involves my food being just like a patty in Jamaica in everybody's house and me bottling my juices not my juices my sauces these are juice bottles but it's gonna be my sauce in there that's my home much improved after I make all the money that I'm going to make in the future that's me relaxing no telephone because I've made so much money I don't have to do all the work myself anymore and that's my husband and myself in the future with all that we need relaxing together I have learned so much that I have to go back and implement. I've taken a lot of notes, lots of things that I have overlooked that I haven't been doing that will really probably help to smooth the process for me. All kinds of things that I haven't thought of doing before that probably will make my business more professional and cause me to increase profits. Here we are at my home. Yannick and Gary had some problems with my business name. Problems I don't have with it, of course, but they want me to change it. So I've decided I'll have other people help me with it. So I've invited some people to come over, relatives, customers, just so we can talk about it. So I'm going to find out from them what their honest opinion about the business name is and also really what they think my target market should be. Okay, so um, the super spicy doubles just says doubles. It doesn't say, oh, I sell like bus up shot or um, Dalbury or um, in a bowl oil or anything like that. Um, so you need to spam. So instead of calling you super spicy doubles, I call you my trendy food. <laughs> I have to make the decision essentially on my own. I'm going to talk to my husband and my daughter and you know one or two other people and see if they have any ideas as to what to do with the name. Because at this point, I still can't say whether or not it's going to be super spicy doubles from tomorrow or if it's going to change. But at least I'm glad to get the feedback so I have an idea of what to do. It's now time for Nicole to update the innovators on her business progress. Is she a contender for JN's quarter million dollar prize? Let's find out. Nicole, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Now, since you were last here, you have done a lot of work. Fill us in on what has been happening. Okay, well, after our boardroom, I got three assignments. I met with Taylor Lynn, who was my mentor, and meeting her was fabulous. I also had um, the Innovators Bootcamp with Yannique, and oh my God, I learned stuff, I learned stuff, I learned stuff. I'm using Excel now. Then I went to Sutru, which is a bottling company, and I learned a lot of stuff from them. I bottled, packaged labels, up to standard, mind you, with the barcode, etc. Everything is on there. So I am really, really excited. This has done a lot for me. All I want to know now is, are you making more money? Of course. <laughs> Thanks for good. having me. I'm really Congrats. happy for this experience. And good luck going forward. Thank you. I, I'm disappointed that she has held on to the name because I feel pretty strongly that it's not the best thing. However, entrepreneurs, that's one of the things that, that makes them successful also. If they have a passion for something and they're really stuck with it, you know, who's to say? But I think she'll do well. I'm really excited about her sauces and everything else. So good luck, Nicole. Nicole has finally learned that you cannot grow your business while you're working in it. You have to move out and start working on it. That's such a fundamental principle that in order for you to have the big picture and to have growth, you need to start working on the business. And if you're every day doing, cook, doing the cooking, who is working on it at the, at the bigger level? So I'm really pleased with her progress. You know, she's done so much in a short period of time. And I can tell you with her sauces, with her food and with her zest, for you know success she will do exceptionally well i've just had a lot of fun and a lot a lot of learning my business is a little better than it was before a lot better than it was before my facebook page has doubled already everything is working better so i'm really grateful i want to thank yannick and gary for having me on the show i i don't even know what i would have done without this experience god sent it at the right time for me and i just want to ask everybody to support super spicy doubles i'm on facebook that's the name of this of the page super spicy doubles our website will soon be up. It will be superspicydoubles.com. And you can call us at 361-2243-533-2650. You can WhatsApp those numbers. Please continue calling us. And those people have supported us so wonderfully for the past six months. Don't stop. We're grateful. We appreciate your business. Thank you very much. Thanks, innovators.
The boardroom table and chairs were provided by the Corporate Interiors International Limited. We sell solutions, not just furniture. Gary's wardrobe was provided by Max Brown Limited. For further information on any of our assignments, please visit us at facebook.com slash innovators tv or email us at innovators tv at gmail.com the innovators was brought to you by the jamaica yellow pages jn small business loans and future services international